Do you want to subscribe to a satellite internet service through Starlink? You will frequently need to add your name to a very long waiting list. This is because there is a high demand for the service. However, a new service that has been provided by Starlink gives a potential alternative answer in the shape of a workaround. With this workaround, you will be able to acquire the necessary equipment without having to wait at any point. We are speaking about the internet service provided by Starlink RV, which was introduced by the corporation as an option for individuals who own RVs or who enjoy camping or road trips. The Starlink RV system incorporates a movable dish that is touted to deliver internet connectivity regardless of location. So in this video, we are going to give you some information that you will need if Starlink RV is right for you. Also, we will give the differences between Starlink RV and residential. Now let's get started. SpaceX's new piece of tech was recently released. Its goal is to give everyone in the world unlimited high-speed internet service which is based on satellites. SpaceX has put tens of thousands of small satellites into low Earth orbit to make this happen. The shorter distance helps the network respond more quickly. Instead of geostationary satellites which cover large areas, Starlink satellites cover smaller areas and focus on making the internet faster and giving it more bandwidth. Before we move further, let's take an overview of the new internet baby called Starlink RV. Starlink RV is great because it can be taken with you. The hardware for the Starlink RV service is the same as for the main service. Users get a transmitter receiver called Dishy McFlatface or Dishy for short. The receiver should be put down and aimed straight up towards the sky. This allows it to get the strongest signal to the satellite that is closest to it. The Starlink satellites connect to stations on the ground that can connect more than one user with the Dishy transmitters. But Starlink doesn't work in RVs when the RV is moving. When the RV is parked, campers can use it anywhere. This is unique because the service can be paused when it is not being used. The differences between Starlink Residential, the traditional package and Starlink RV. First of all, the package itself is precisely the same. It is the same cost and you receive the same service. The antenna, router and wires will all be included at a total cost of $694. But the cost of the service is a little different for residential. It's going to cost you $110 each month for residential and the RV package is set at $135 each month. The roaming and portability usage of the system each cost an additional $25 a month which is added to your bill for the RV package. Every time you set up your Starlink for use, you will be required to enter the software and pick your service address as the location of your service address in the current residential area. A service address is not required to be entered while using Starlink RV. You might have a shipping address and a billing address on the computer, but whenever you open up your Starlink RV and turn it on, it will utilize that address instead. Because of this, you won't need to worry about whether or not there will be availability in your region. You should be able to get roaming and portability for your service if you have Starlink RV and if you are in an area where they offer Starlink. Customers who are currently subscribed to the residential service can upgrade to the roaming service at which point it will read true in that section. However, doing so will cost them an additional $25 per month. As a result, customers who are currently subscribed to the residential service can update their plans to gain portability and the ability to roam. What is the service availability? If you have residential service from Starlink RV, you will have to wait until the area that you wish to have is available on the map, which might take up to a year. If you have an RV service, you will not have to wait. With Starlink RV, you can choose which area to utilize as your service area. Talk about freedom of choice. If you really want a residential service and your area isn't available, then you have to wait or change your service address to an area where the residential service is available. You do not need to change your service address if you are relocating or moving a short distance from your previous service residence. However, if you are moving a distance of more than 8 miles, you will need to change your service address. With Starlink RV, you just have to power off and power on and you can pick your new service address wherever you are. Isn't that awesome? Okay, 
Now let's talk about ordering. With residential service, when you order, you have to wait for your service address location to become available. If it's not available, they won't ship your hardware and you have to wait for the service. With Starlink RV, as we said earlier, when you order your equipment, you'll get your service and your equipment in a very short time without you waiting for your location to become available. Let us see the speed of the service, which we believe is the most important part when choosing internet facilities. Another difference between residential and Starlink RV when it comes to internet speed is that Starlink Residential has prioritized service. But with Starlink RV, you are deprioritized because they are essentially placing you in an area that is probably already congested by other Starlink users and you are going to be deprioritized to what is known as the best effort service. The only way you can get the fastest service with Starlink RV is when you are in an available area where other Starlink users are not. However, you will still be able to connect, but the rates at which you can connect will likely be slower than those experienced by residential users. If it is not congested, then you will most likely obtain full speed, and your speed will be a little bit lower and slower in a Starlink RV than it would be in a Starlink residential. The typical download speeds of Starlink vary from 50 Mbps to 250 Mbps, but in high usage backlog zones, Download speeds for Starlink RV range from 5 Mbps to 100 Mbps. This is a significant drop in speed compared to the normal Starlink download speeds. A further difference between Starlink Residential and Starlink RV is that the Starlink RV offers a pausing feature, allowing their customers to pay for their service once a month at a time rather than everything at once or consecutively. Let's say that we're going to be staying in an RV park for August and we want to pay for just August, even though we are aware we will not be using it throughout September. All that is required for us is to put it on hold temporarily so that we are not charged for September. We can reactivate Starlink RV in October and continue with no reconnection requests or fees. So far as we can tell, the Starlink residential service requires payment every month regardless of whether or not the subscriber makes use of it. You can turn it off whenever you choose but you are unable to suspend it because it is a month-to-month -month deal. The following is an in-depth guide that will walk you through the process of installing Starlink RV gear. We must conduct an inventory first before getting to the activity. Dishi McFlatface, a tripod stand for Dishi, a power supply, a router and its connecting wires should be the three components that make up your Starlink hardware package. The procedure for setting up Dishi is made relatively simple by the fact that it emerges from its delivery box already connected to its power source as well as its network. As soon as you have a dish that is wired up and ready to go, you should place it on its tripod stand and then move the tripod stand outside where it will have a clear view of the sky. Because the cable on the tripod stand extends to a length of 30 meters, it can be mounted and positioned with relative ease. You can find the optimal location for Dishi by downloading the Starlink app on your phone and using it to search for the best signal. The application makes use of the camera on your smartphone to examine the sky as well as potential locations to select areas that have the fewest obstructions possible. After being connected to the primary power source, it will automatically connect to the satellite network in the sky and the router will become operational. You can configure the router's Wi-Fi name and password by using the Starlink app on your mobile devices. Isn't technology great? Which one will you be using?